Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back, everybody. It is Lazy Shen once again. Back with AI The Somnium Files, episode 12. Good to see you guys. Good to see you. <laughs> uh, always happy to be back in the building to play some AI. Oh, last time we left off on a major, I guess not a cliffhanger per se, but there's a lot of leads we're trying to pursue after uh, finishing Iris' Somnium, which took basically like kind of the whole episode, which was surprised me. Other than a few like chatting places here and there, mostly it went towards the Somnium, which took like about like a half an hour, 40 minutes-ish. And I kind of feel like we, we fucked up the timeline. Uh, somewhere rather... <laughs> Within the within the realm the scope of it all But let's see how we did when we returned to the Kamakura office We just finished talking with uh, with your boy After Iris was kidnapped and we did her Somnium We brought her to the Abyss headquarters to do her Somnium and then we played Shovel Forge not Minecraft and, after, and now we just finished talking with uh, your boy, the Kamakuras, once again. Or the Kumakuras? Kamakura? Well, whatever it is. It's the, it's the crime syndicate that is super, super loud. Let me just turn that. Actually, it's, it's maybe a little bit low. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> Moma, it's good to see you, buddy, but it's time for me to go. We have three places to hit up today. Masashita Diner, Sejima Residence, and Bloom Park uh, to find some more leads, as well as perhaps find out more about this organization known as uh, Axolotl, something like that. I'm not exactly sure. I don't remember the name. Ota and Mizuki were both at the diner. Nice laws. Nice laws. I That's see. the one. It's not impossible. Oda spoke softly to himself, looking deep in thought. Okay, that, that's all I get? Let's talk to the room real quick. Kuroda Kazuaki's liver with anchovy stir-fry. Sounds disgusting. Okay. Salt, pepper, a blend of red cayenne and spices, and an unidentified... It was Matsushita's, like, what's, what's her name's, like, special liquid, right? Well-rested Mayumi juice. <laughs> Yeah, it's the Mayumi juice. Disgusting, dude. Okay, let's see. Okay, autographs. I have Masanori's autograph too, from Shinsen Chatran. I have no idea who that is. Masanori was here. Okay, I guess I guess Iris knows Masanori. He knows about this place. It was from a long time ago. Okay, so, so I don't know who that is. Must be like a reference to some, like one of his other games, maybe that I'm just like slipping my mind right now, or perhaps like a real J Japanese person. Hey, Date, do you want this poster? I do want this poster. No, not really. You know, if you rub the swimsuit with a coin, you can scrape it off. <laughs> Yo, let's go. Now, uh, please, Date. I, I don't know. It's hard to say if you'll be interested. You know, being sold it from a kid. I'll take it. Yeah, I figured. Yeah, I'll throw it away for you. A table, a stool. I I love the little like quippy, the little quippy like dialogue that they have together. Is that your comfortable, Tessa? If it's not, you can sit on my back. Okay, Ota, you gotta <laughs> back off here for a second. We're trying to find a government conspiracy. This man will stop at nothing. Yeah, he tries. You know what? You guys want to put some water in that bucket and swing it around? Oh, I, th I thought it was going to be like the ASL Ice Bucket Challenge. But I'm not sure if the Ice Bucket Challenge came out and was prominent in Japan at the time of this, uh, of writing this script. Um, Tessa, please not in the store. Just a gravity thing. Okay, here we go. Bucket. Menus. Window. Nothing but a window. Poster. The beer ad poster. A bookshelf. He's got stickers on the side of it. Lucky cat. A lucky cat statue. A lucky cat statue. Why? Why did? It, why did it like ellipses? Beer. Hey Tessa, can you stack up those beer cases and stand on top? Why Tessa? Then I can get on the floor and um. He can't be serious. What the fuck? <laughs> this guy is down bad. I'm trying to just have a good, nice little. Hey Date. 
I've got this video of a girl in a white shirt under a waterfall. Wanna watch? Yo, it should become see-through. Absolutely not. <laughs> this shirt becomes see-through. It's a round chair. Okay, cool. I think that's pretty much everything other than the kids. Swinging door. Phone. Ring ring. Banana phone. Low table. It's a low table. Yeah, everything else is pretty much nothing. Couple slippers. Lucky cat. A tissue box beside the window. So you can uh, fap it. It's November, but the calendar says January. Looking closely, even the year is wrong. It's old. <laughs> what has two arms and a face but no eyes? The clock. What the? What the? Like the Buddha. The Buddha has arms? No, t t eyes? He doesn't have eyes? He does have eyes. Have you seen his eyes? Dude, just because they're closed doesn't mean that you haven't seen them before. I've seen his eyes. His eyes are quite beautiful. But he's not blind. No, of course not. He sees all. Bro, what a, st what a dumbass bit, dude. That's crazy. Fortune, it says good luck. Usually, um, in Chinese New Year stuff, we will put like, you know, we, we used to put these like, uh, these upside down. It's like a pun, but we don't do that anymore because it's a stupid pun. All right, Ota, you're up. Where's your mom? She's out right now. I'm not sure where. Shopping, maybe. Shopping? You're not, you don't know where your mom is? Come on. It's crucial. Tessa is my hopes and dreams. My peace and my life. Okay, I'm turning you down, buddy. I'm sorry. My light, my star, my sun, my goddess. Dude, she, he, he got some words, bro. He's he's a poet. <laughs> this just says beer. Also, what what is that? I've always been trying to figure this out. What is this thing on his on his penile area? She's like the laws of the universe itself, the embodiment of beauty. The embodiment of nice laws. An angel, a lover. A cute mascot to put on a body pillow, a guru, a wife, a soulmate, bro, life the, itself. Uh, you could have stopped She's it. The, the object of my bro, total devotion and bro, worship. Bro, 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 bro. You could have stopped the first one. I'm, I'm good. I'm Snuck good. Lover and wife in there. I would ignore it. And like I told you oh before, oh my god, I'm Tessa's thrall. Uh, bro, what the fuck? If she calls for me, I'll be there. He's uh, devoted, if nothing Thanks, else. Ota. That makes me happy. If nothing else, he is quite devoted. I'll give you that. What about nice and loss? I've heard of them. You've heard of them? That's a lie. That is so cap. Nice at loss, or nice, is a satanic secret society. Like a cult. They sacrifice children. While the sacrifice is up all night screaming, the cult performs ritual acts. What? Their ranks are full of politicians. Intellectuals and business types. There's no way. They've only been active for a few decades, but some say that they've grown to be the largest secret society in the world. There's no way this is real. An organization so big that it absorbed the Freemasons and the Illuminati. No. The Illuminati can't be dead. We still have Gravity Falls. But even though their membership is huge, no one knows who their leaders are. Like, you've heard of the Rockefellers and the Rothschilds, right? But sure. for Nice. There's nothing. No one knows who's running the cult. My guess is that they're being led by a group of super geniuses. Hmm. Interesting. Oda doesn't know about the Wadjet system or its connections to Nice. Yeah, Oda has no idea. Iris found out just why they're after her. Pieces fit. If you believe everything she said. Yeah, this is. A, it's a little too convenient. Also, uh, Iris said nothing about. Uh, the satanic stuff at all like this is a completely different organization from the from the f f get go which <sighs> something doesn't seem quite right to me it looks serious something's not fitting here um what are you gonna say Date, can I Oh, what the fuck? Oda gestured and walked over the corner of the room. I stood up and followed him. Look, I was gonna let you have it, but under the circumstances... What are you talking about? Let me have it? Mizuki, of course. You've been neglecting her. Uh, I guess that's true. Don't you think she's at her limit? Mizuki stayed at one of the mermaid's houses last night. What the fuck? 
She was twisting and turning all night. I had to sleep in the same bed so she'd calm down. She called me this morning so I could pick her up. Normally, she'd be you in can, school. You can drive? Mizuki had the day off for morning. I thought that she shouldn't be alone. Why don't you try being nicer to Mizuki? Dude, uh, fuck me, dude. Fuck. I know she doesn't show it, but she's really hurting. She sure. needs you, Date. She just doesn't want to trouble you. She's a remarkable, brave young girl. Uh, dude, I'm not, I don't need your secondary commentary, Aiba. You should try to understand how she feels. Being talked down to by two fucking dudes that aren't even real about Iris. Who is Iris to me? A friend, a big sister, and I kind of envy her. You kind of envy her? No, stop it! It's true though. I look up to you a lot, Iris. <laughs> so what do you envy about her? Will I get to know? Do you know where your father is? If you're asking me. About Renju? Is he the culprit? No, not necessarily. Did he really kill mom? <sighs> well, I guess it's understandable that he'd be a suspect. After mom got killed, he didn't even call. I hate that the voices, like, some of them are really loud and some of them are really quiet, so I can't... It's hard to balance, like, you know, like, the volume for the voices. So make, if I just make it louder than the music, some people will be, like, really, really loud. They called me out to Bloom Park for some reason. I thought it was suspicious. But you still but, went, huh? But I pretended not to notice. I didn't want to yeah. acknowledge it. I wanted to believe in Daddy. That word no longer it can be said by people. <laughs> the internet has made that word very weird. Summarize for me. All right, Iris. Let's get going. You got it. Date, if something happens to Tessa, let me know, okay? I'll come Wait. help right away. Is that it? That's me all too. that's all I could get from them? I'll save you no matter what, Iris. I shouldn't have summarized. Thank you both. Promise me. I promise. Wait, hold on. I didn't talk to Iris at all. She's trembling. Oh, she didn't she didn't have any dialogue. Okay, I guess not. A family photo. Let's get going to the Sejima residence then. Uh why are we here? Because he may have connections with some evil people, so we're here again. Even though he told us last time to get lost, and to never come back here again, and then if we did, then we're gonna get There's arrested. There's no one in the garden. He's not here feeding his kappa? So must be inside. Wait, I have detected a living organism in the garden. You have? How did you do that? You should look around. He's, he's hiding. So is hiding in one of the bushes. Stones. A garden stone. Where's the life signal coming from? Tree? He's not in the tree. He's not in the bush. That's a plant. It's a plant. Not a blob. He's in the lantern. It's a garden lantern. B a barden lantern. I said garden lantern, not hardened lanyard. I didn't say anything. I'm aware of that. Hardened lanyard? <laughs> Who the fuck would think? No one is inside. Mm -hmm. No one's inside of there. Oh, they're over there. I see. With Hitomi, you slide. Hold on, is there a kappa in the pond? A pond. Nobody's around. There's no kappa today. Is Small land? Small island is Kojima in Japanese. Small island means Kojima? Or is Kojima in Japanese? The director Kojima? <laughs> He's here? <laughs> yeah, Kojima's here. Uh, uh, you know, creator of popular game Death Stranding. It honestly wouldn't be that weird for him. And but Silent Hill. Not there. Mr. PT himself. I was wondering if they're gonna do a Kojima reference. Zoom, enhance, there they are, with Itomi. I thought she had those shoes on. That's next to him is Hitomi. Hitomi. It looks that way. Why? What's Hitomi doing with So? Yeah, that's that's what I said. Daddy? Th this is bad. What's wrong? This is but your mom is here. Oh shit. Oh shitty fuck fuck shit. Iris hasn't noticed him yet. I noticed. Uh, I decided to ask uh, uh, her about it. You said you don't know So Sejima, right? Right, I don't. What about your mom? Does she know So? I don't know. I don't think she does. Do you ever talk politics at home? Anything like that? Not particularly. Why are you asking me this? Oh shit! She's gonna find out. She's gonna figure it out real quick. It was at that moment. Two bodyguards dressed in black came running out of the ma the mansion. They had panic looks on their faces. 
We told you you can't come in here. You can't do what you want just because you're a cop. You're trespassing. That's a crime, you know. Nah, no, no, no. Hold on, hold on. It's a parent teacher interview. They called HQ and get arrested for sure. What happened to Iris? Who'd protect her? Nice is a huge organization. They have people everywhere. So this is this is kind of the path where I like wholeheartedly believe her. But like for what reason do I believe her? Just because I did a somnium? That's not right. Fine. Let's go, Iris. Yeah. I couldn't get to talk to. S Damn! What a lead squandered! Ah! Shit! That's so. That's really. That's really, really bad. I took Iris to Bloom Park. I took my time checking every inch of the merry go round. We still have no sign of uh, 89 or Renju. Which is our, our primary objective here. Because they're on the loose. Here. Guess not. Why did Renju come here on Friday? Was it to place Shoko's body here? Or did he have another reason? Renju's my friend. I wanted to believe him, but I don't know how long I can keep defending him. Where is he? What is he doing? I thought over a thousand times. My head is heavy with it. Iris suddenly snapped me out of it. Wanna race, Dante? Wanna race? Dude, you're gonna lose. Race? Yeah, we talked about it yesterday. You wanna challenge me? Well, sure. Oh, did we yeah, did we say that last it. time? We'll start here and end here. So we race around the merry-go-round? Right. Okay, it's a circle, you're gonna lose. Line up next to me! Before I even had a chance to reply, Iris got set. I guess I have no choice. Line up next to Iris. Okay, here Dude, we go! Dude, Iris is mad short. Maybe I'm mad tall? Ready? She's like barely the size of the rail. She's like tiny. Set? She's like two feet tall. Wait, what? Hold on. Go! I couldn't believe my eyes. I thought I must be dreaming. Second after the race, the start is already two paces behind her. I couldn't close the gap. I'm, I'm out of shape, bro. I watched her, uh, her back get smaller and smaller. Bro, am I, am I out of shape, bro? What is happening? I guess I, I, I guess I relied too much on Iba, not on my physicality. <laughs> See? Told you. Iris is the messenger of the gods. You've earned your namesake. <laughs> Do you know a lot about mythology? Huh? You said that Iris is a goddess in Greek mythology. I don't know, for some reason, I, I, I thought of Dante this whole time to be like a super secret, like super soldier agent, you know? <laughs> but maybe I was wrong. Maybe he's just a normal dude. And three days ago, you were talking about Egyptian mythology. Horus is the Egyptian god of the sky and sun. Which is why I thought he, he would not lose to Iris in a race. I was like, you know, maybe, like, Iris could be, like, super fast and, like, really, really good. But can you, can she beat Dante, who is, like, a living legend? The right eye is the eye of Ra, and that's the sun. Turns out Dante is not a living legend. The left eye is the eye of Wajet, and that one is the moon. Oh, what is, that's what Iris told me three days ago. Horse's left eye is the eye of Wajit. Does that have any relationship with the Wajit system? Oh, mythology? I actually don't know that much. Uncle taught me everything. Uncle, that's right. The, the guy that I thought was 89. Or uh, the, that I thought was me. Six years ago, I used to come here with someone all the time. I used to call him uncle. That's his, like, that's Hitomi's boyfriend. Oh, yeah. Didn't he come up with A-Set, too? Yeah, that's right. That name said, you is bet. rooted in Egyptian mythology, too. Like, set? Okay. Horace's One arch at a time. enemy was set, yeah. his uncle. His uncle was set, you correct? His uncle. Osiris's little brother is set, and his son is Horus. That's true. This set was an awful guy. One day he tricked and killed Osiris by trapping him in a coffin. That's true. So naturally, Horus didn't take that well. Drats! I'll never forgive you, Uncle Set. That's not what he said at all, but I like the dramatization. On the other hand, Set didn't like having Horus around. Oh, he's so annoying. <laughs> he's the little little bro is so annoying. Osiris said that I was supposed to be king, but now everyone's like, 
Oh, Horus should be king. Are these idiots serious? Horus would be an awful king. Time to go to war! And so, a bloody war broke out. This is Just the, like that. This is the greatest retelling of Egyptian history ever known to man. And the winner was decided by a deadly game. <laughs> they killed each other. What kind of game? They would disguise themselves as hippos, ford the river, and whoever gets to the other side first would win. This is a terrible game. They should have just played Yu-Gi-Oh. That's what they decided. How oddly specific. So, for 80 years they fought. It was bloody and horrible. Okay. You gonna continue that? In F the end, finish your food, Horus please. won. Horus used a spear to cut off Set's foot and Wee-Wee. Wee-Wee? <laughs> His... His wee wee. I believe she is referring to a male genitalia. Wait, why are you asking me? But Horus didn't come out of this. I wasn't. I was just thinking it. During the battle, Horus lost his left eyeball to Set. Fuck no! Ah uh, <laughs> no! No, I I hate this already. It said that the left eye survived and traveled all over Egypt. The eye wisdom itself. wisdom and experience. Horus had no idea that his left eye was wandering around on its it, own. It grew some legs, started dipping out. What? Where did my eye go? Horus was totally bummed out. He went to see the god of wisdom, the moon, and time, Thoth. Yeah, Damn, true. Damn, Seth did that? That's brutal, dude. That's brutal, my bro. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'll use my moon power to heal you up. But then his eye is still out there. Yay, thank you, Mr. Thought. But then his eye is still out there. Okay, here it goes. Moon healing power. Ring, ring, ring. Thoth cast his spell and Horus's eye came zooming in. Zoom, click. Oh, it's Horus back. Horus got his eye back. So it, it was, it wasn't, it was a recall. Okay, this is important. And from that day forward, his left eye had the power of the moon in it. This is, this is important. It became the symbol of knowledge and healing, and revered as a sacred icon. So that's the Eye of Wadjet? Right. And it became the Eye of Providence? Yes! And do you think that's why we call it the Wadjet system? Probably, yeah. Okay, okay! Oh! I, I told you yesterday, I love moving around. I... That's important. The, that is very, very important for the upcoming... It, it, it relates to our story somehow. It always, it always does. Uchikoshi would never put in a stupid mythological story. He disguises it as like some kind of like cute retelling from Iris because Iris does not know how to tell stories. And it's like, you, you probably brush it off because it sounds stupid the way she tells it. But this is a, this is a reaccounting of what, you know, has happened. So somebody lost their eyeball. And then they healed it back. The eyeball came back and became the eye of Providence. And it was filled with the moon's power and wisdom. It kind of rem it kind of feels like Dante, no? Because Dante also left his left eye and then he got it back quote unquote from abyss. And then now his eyeball, his new left eye is Aiba, who is like super intelligent, full of wisdom. And I especially love dancing. But... Hmm? So that means that in the past, Dante, whoever he was before, went to war with someone else. He had a big fight with somebody else. And the, in the process, he lost his eye. About three months ago, Mr. Ogira told me something. He said that I can't dance. Why? I don't know. Mr. He Ogira? He said something about being over-reliant on dancing and neglecting my singing. You should stop dancing for now and practice singing. Mr. Ogira wants you to be a well-rounded idol, I see. But during your live stream... She was dancing. Because I was... sad. After I stopped dancing, I lost so many fans. They said terrible things to me, like that I'm worthless if I can't dance. Damn, really? All I have is dancing, just dancing. What about A set? So A set is related to the God set. So why A set? Horus's mom is named Isis, but in ancient Egyptian, it's pronounced closer to Ise or A set. I see. Interesting. Hmm. How do I explain this? 
about Asa. I told you about Horus's dad, Osiris. Yes. His mom's name is Isis, so Osiris is Isis's husband. Thank you for the, the riveting life lesson. Osiris was assassinated by his brother Set. That's what I told you earlier, but there's more to it. After Set killed Osiris, he tore his body to pieces yeah. and threw it in the river. Mm -hmm. Isis was devastated. As you would be. I can't believe I'm a widow at my age. But she didn't let it break her. At my ripe age of th fucking 5,000. Because she had the power of life and death. All right, fine. If that's how it's going to be, I'll just revive my husband. With a group of her friends, she gathered up Osiris's body and started the resurrection ritual. Live! Shkrr! And so, Osiris was revived! Mm hmm Well, or so the story goes. he wasn't all there, so he wasn't in one piece. But... Anyway, Isis was the goddess of life, death, and fertility. She was yeah, worshipped kind of a, she by kind all of a the land. Won't lie. I think I get the picture, but what does that have to do with your own name? There's a theory that the Greek goddess Iris, Iris. is really based on the Egyptian goddess Isis. So Isis and Iris are connected. Yeah, I see. Yeah. And Isis sounded like Aset in ancient Egyptian, which is where your stage name comes from. That's right. It's it's very convoluted, but only somebody with hyper strong super intellect like me. But remember, I didn't come up with the name. It's your uncle did. Her uncle. F shut the fuck up, Iba. I don't want to hear from you. I don't. I, I, I'm I'm done with your bullshit, guys. It's a bench. Oh, I forgot to talk to the room. Skewered tape. It looks pathetic. There might be some quippy dialogue here. Okay, we'll, we'll save it for after. Oh wait, no, this is it, this is it. Okay, po ho horse, pole, roof. Nothing, nothing interesting. Just a couple of basic observations. Date, why are you staring at the pole? It's a po for pole dancers, obviously. I mean, I am a good dancer, but... <laughs> yeah. I've never pole danced. I was not expecting that reaction. <laughs> I, I was, because I'm fucking disgusting. Uh, so I was trying to think about what Date was going to say. Summarize for me. In the end, we didn't find any new information on Renju, but I'm not too upset. This is what a criminal investigation is about. You don't always find what you're looking for. Let's get going, Iron. Yeah, let's go. Okay, cool. Messenger of the God. Let's go to Marble. One last shot at Marble, guys. One last shot at Marble, please. No criminals, just Mama. That's all I want. I don't want nothing else. That's it. That's it. Okay, we got some car time Where with are Iris. Going next? Marble and Golden Yokocha. We're going back to the crime scene. Wasn't that where we were attacked by knives? Yep. It'll be fine. I didn't tell anyone we were going there. They won't be waiting for us. Besides, they wouldn't ambush us in the same place twice. But why Marble? No reason. I just need to talk to Mama. Hmm? Oh, she doesn't know that his name is Mama. Oh, that's it? We're, we don't get any dialogue. No car time. No car time today? It's... They're speeding through this part of the game. I think the other parts of the game, like, we had a lot of time to just idle chit-chat. And, like, get to know each other. Now, now we're all business. Damn. Sorry I couldn't come last night. No, no, don't worry about it. It was better that you didn't. Huh? You didn't hear? There was a shootout right in front of the bar. They closed all of Golden Yokocho down. I mean, I knew that. I was there. They were saying something about hitmen suddenly pulling out guns and shooting. They were trying to kill a man and a woman. Mm -hmm. Not unlike the man and the woman that are here today, right now. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yep. I told mom about last night about knives and loss too. Okay, that's it. Okay, let's let's talk. Poster. How I learned to stop worrying and love the bum. I wonder what that is. How I learned to stop worrying and love the bum. That's like a. <laughs> the, the specials are written on the chalkboard. Hey Date, it says beignet custard on the board. Don't get the beignet custard. What is that? I think it's written wrong. It's supposed to be Vernier thrusters. Vernier thrusters. Mama, you better order them quick or we won't be able to control the rocket. I know, I know. I'll have the Vernier thrusters ready tomorrow. 
<laughs> the Vernier thrusters. Iba is like speechless with us two. Iris, oh. let me introduce you to Mama's little sister. The fridge? That's a fridge! Mm. Uh, <laughs> is it because they wear the same color? Let's see. The bottles are lined up on the counter. Menu? That's a menu has written on the back. Cool. Counter. It's a bar counter. Iris, let's talk. What, want a drink? No, I'm okay. Okay. No water? No juice? Mama, what are you doing? She's rubbing this bonito flake for the five bonito piece for five billion years. Hmm, just polishing the bonito. Why? Why indeed. <laughs> <laughs> Don't talk to Iris that way. She's She's a delight. <laughs> no. No, oh, aren't you nice? Are you looking for a job? Iris is still in high school. How about after you graduate? Starting rate is 6 million yen an hour. 6 million yen? Date, I need a body so I can work here immediately. You won't get hired looking like that. <laughs> you won't get hired looking like a shrimp. Introduce Iris. Here we go. Sorry for the late introduction. This is Iris. This is Iris. Nice to meet you. I'm Aset. You bet. Oh, sorry. Have it. I meant Iris. Oh my, you are so cute. Are you a virgin? You are. Right. Dude, back off, mama. Back the fuck. Get the fuck back, mama. Uh, yeah. What a coincidence. Me too. <laughs> oh, you don't say. <laughs> you don't say. Dude, we have so much in common with Sorry, Iris. Sorry, honey, but I don't know a thing about that. You're an informant. I'm sure you must know something. I'm well versed in local information. But nothing international. Men's international now, fam. I know all about Tokyo's underworld, but I can't say much about the rest of the world. I see. About the armed men. I think they must be foreign mafia. Some kind of international organization. Well, that's what I'm saying. Well, th that's part of the coincidence, right? Like, how did they get so many dudes here? And we only told Boss. So is Boss in on it? Like, all? Because th that would explain why there's no, not many guards. They would do anything for money. Nice must have hired them. It, it, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of bad things going on right now. Beer town. Beer! <laughs> what is this facial expression? What? what? Don't like beer? Is that supposed to be a joke? You say stuff like that all the time. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, dude. I know it's me. A beer tap. TV. Dante, you want to watch Hiroka's promotional video? D but do I ever? Who? You don't know Hiroka? Kids these days. Mama, I want to ask you something. Here we go. Here's the big. Here's the big one. What is it? Those gunmen were waiting for us. Did you tell anyone we were coming? That's right. You did tell. Well, Mama th th that that's you were that's who I initially suspected. I initially suspected that Mama, because Mama knew we were coming from the other day, right? Like, do you do you organize like a couple of gunmen in just like a, a couple hours? Not really. Like. We told Mama we were coming like the days ago, and then because Mama was gonna set us up with somebody who knew Renju. So what if it was Mama's attempt to, you know, protect Renju for some whatever reason? And they're not foreign mafia, but she she can just say they're foreign mafia, and then say that she knows nothing about it. There's a lot of, you know, angles we can hit, we can attack this from. And that you were bringing Iris. Hmm. Well, I did tell one person. You told the guy. Who? The person I was gonna have you meet, of course. <laughs> the, person gonna... <laughs> the person was 89. Same guy who gave Ren his watch. What's his name? Futa, I think. Futa Nari? Futa Amanoma. Futa Amanoma. <gasps> I don't know that name, but you do. <gasps> what? Wait, that's Pewter's name? That's Pewter's name? That's... Pewter. Oh, is that why he likes Yaoi? Fuck me, shit! 
So you, we were gonna meet Pewter here? Pewter's the one that was... And then he let 89 go. And then Renju was there to pick him up. They're all, ag they're all against me? There's no way. There's no way they're all against me. That's... Fuck me, dude. I gotta There's run. There's no one here. Oh, shit. Maybe he went home. No, that can't be. He's still on the job. The computer is definitely around here somewhere. He's reading Duncan, porn mags in the back. Your intuition is correct. I am detecting a living organism nearby. <laughs> uh, don't tell me. I don't want to walk in on him, like, jerking it, okay? I knew it. I don't want to walk in on him jerking it. I'm scared. He's in the locker. He's in the locker. X-ray. I'm playing Dead by Daylight. He totally is in there. <laughs> he totally There's is in there. Bastard. It was the first part I checked. There was nothing else. <laughs> Wait a minute. Uh, okay. I'll tell you everything. Yeah, I knew it. I fucking knew it, dude. You told those men that Iris and I were going to Golden Yokocho, didn't you? Yes, I did. Renju hired them. Renju, Renju hired them. Which means Mr. Okiura is in with Nice. Nice? Don't play dumb. I know you're with them. I don't know what you're talking about. I was just helping Renju. I, okay, I mean, still plausible, though. Still plausible that, that Pewter is just like a pawn. Did you help number 89 get away? I think so, too. How much does she know? Just answer the question. Yes, I did. Yeah, he seemed a little too nonchalant. It's been bothering me. How was number 89 able to escape from Metro so easily? And you were the one being held hostage. If you were helping him the whole time, it all makes sense. Yeah, it, it went a little too smoothly. That's what I was thinking too. Like, not only was he like super nonchalant about it, he also was like... It, it, it definitely felt premeditated. Also, like, I feel like he would have, you know, set the alarms, like, instantly. You wouldn't just let a criminal escape like that. But speaking of which, I gotta look at your porn racks. The locker computer was hiding in. Long table, door. So th there's no way that he can actually get out of here. We've got this place on lockdown. He's playing Smash there. Chair. Oh, just a chair. Okay, no joking around in this situation, it seems. Poor mags are all gone. Iris, introduce Pewter. This is Pewter. Oh, uh, hi. Nice to meet Futa, you. Futa, uh, 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 an enemy. Hello. I'll have to give you my card later. I have a feeling that if I reached to my pocket, I would get my head blown off. You would, yes. What's the cat in your waist? I've always wondered this. The cat on your waist. <laughs> the fucking fanny pack. What is that? Oh, this? It's Bastet. Oh, very really leaning into the 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 Egyptian mythology here. Bastet? A cat goddess. Why are you asking me now? Sorry, I just saw it. Reassure her. Sorry you had to see this. It's fine. And she's like, oh, dude, it's it's like a secret agent mission. Don't worry, I won't kill him. Then can I leave? Nope. You sure. can't leave. If you don't mind me breaking every one of your fingers. <laughs> well, I mean, that's as good as not leaving. Then I'd rather not. <laughs> yeah, I felt so. Here we go, Peter. Let's shake you down. About 89. Two days ago, Renju escaped from the hospital. Renju asked me on the phone to report everything about Shoko's murder case. That's what he wanted. He wanted to know everything about Shoko's murder case. Yesterday, the boss told me that number 89 was coming. Then, Renju asked, Is there any way we can let number 89 escape? I was conflicted. I thought hard about it. But it was Renju asking. Someone I love. And he sounded like he was on death's Doorstep. So it, it, is Pewter like for help? Is Pewter like? Hold on, hold on. This could. Oh, I think I figured something out. I couldn't say no. With my intelligence, I was quickly able to come up with a plan. 
you know what the results were. It did go smoothly, I won't lie to you. I mean, but the end that didn't get met is you, or now is being met. The escape happened exactly how I described earlier, though I wasn't being threatened with a gun. You were acting, huh? Just pretending to be his hostage. Yes. Did number 89 know about the plan? He, just gave us, he probably just gave his gun back. We discussed it when we were alone in the interrogation room. Naturally, he agreed. I imagine he would have taken any possibility of escape. Even if we failed, he was already serving a life sentence. Yeah, it was here, like, <laughs> or the highway. Why was boss not presented, was not present at 89's interrogation? I may not look it, but I have connections high up at HQ. Friends. From my college days, I asked one of them to call up the boss. Interesting. So, he he made sure boss was distracted about Renju's watch. Is it true that you were the one who gave Renju his watch? Yes. Hmm. That's true. There's no need to ask anything else. Why did Peter help Renju? His last answer was all I needed to hear. He's in love. Fuck. I don't know. It's true. Please, believe <laughs> he me. He just cocks the gun, turns off the safety. Renju said that he needed him. That's all I know. I think I know why. I think I know why, and it lines up perfectly with the fact that I thought I was 89. I see. So where is Renju? Even if I knew, why would I tell you? Because you don't want more holes in your body than you already have. <laughs> Do you, man's got two, uh, four holes? You can't. Why not? Date... I didn't tell you all this because you were threatening me. I genuinely wanted you to know. To understand. I'm being set up here. The truth, Date. What are you talking about? There's a variable you haven't considered. That he's the one seeing a trap for me? I made Aiba. Oh shit. And? You don't get it? Date, his hands! What is he gonna do to me? I should have shot him when I had a chance. Fuck! I shouldn't have. Wh why did I bring Iris here anyway? Motherfucker. Motherfucker! Damn it, Pewter! Date, calm down or it will compromise your ability to drive. If you crash, you will not be able to save Iris. Where is she? I don't know. We don't have a GPS on her? So then where the hell am I going? How would I know that? You acted on your own. What about her phone's GP- I tried. It's been turned off. Then- The GPS tracker! From- from the Kumakuras! It's just an extra precaution. Let's go, Momo! Let's fucking get- the Momo's my fucking dude. Put it somewhere they won't find it. Momo's my fucking dude. Iba, call Momo now. On it. Moma, you gotta pick up, bro. Hey, Dante, what's up? Explain the situation as fast as I could. Tessa, Tessa got kidnapped? Dante, you bastard! I know, I know, yell at me later. Right now, I need you to tell me where she is. God damn it! With a short pause, Moma yelled out. The warehouse. Goto, Ariake, Harbor Warehouse District. <laughs> <laughs> it's the it's the uh, it's the Okira fishery. What? That's where the cold storage warehouse is. <laughs> That's where I saw Iris's dead body. They're finishing the job in this timeline. Hey, are you listening, asshole? I know, I know, thinks. Moma, I know. I'm on my way there too. Wait, d Moma, don't do it. I don't want you to die, bro. Bro, if Moma dies, I'm gonna be so sad. He's my guy. Please, please, please. Okay, the van is here. The unmarked van. Very scary. Okay. They've got armed guards everywhere. They really set up here, huh? You motherfuckers. Yeah, they got, they got a lot of barricades, too. 
It's gonna be hard to bust in here. I don't think I can shoot out all of them. I don't have that much ammo. I could try to sneak around though. Hard to say. This is not like Somnium though. I can't just restart. Let's save. <laughs> Let's save. And so slot one back in the day. Sinking in sinking in the villain. Okay. Something. The air is shrouded in darkness. Now it's the two okay, use Ibis function. It's a fence. There are portable barricades set up in two areas in front of the warehouse. Portable? They can be moved and erected easily. Yeah. Not super sturdy, but it gets the job done. Okay. Those are the guys who attacked us at Golden Yoga Show. The mercenaries. Same guys. How many? I detect more than we can see. Probably at least like 40. They are positioned all over the area, surrounding the warehouse. It is guardians that they can get the job done. Armed men. Each of them carries an assault rifle. Getting through will not be an easy task. <sighs> Looks that way. We have to distract them somehow, maybe. A ton of enemies on high alert all around the storage. Fuck. Hmm. The crane. Barricade. Area it's shrouded in darkness. That's the perfect time to use Ibis function. More in the barricade. Okay, cool. Nothing else here. Nothing else for us. You can barely see a thing. Shit. How do I get through? <laughs> okay, cool. Huh. Zoom? Anything else to even check? Nothing else to really check here. Can I leave? Can I just shoot at big dudes? But what am, what, what am I doing here? Something, here it is. Look, what is that thing? Too dark to see. That's the van. There's a black van parked at the end of the harbor. Anyone inside? There are two ways to find out. Walk over, knock on the window and open the door. Or x-ray. Or you can use the x-ray mode. Van's on the other side of the harbor. I need to see inside. Okay. Van, x-ray. She's still in there. She's still alive. It's Iris. Damn it. Is she okay? Unknown. But at least we know she's alive. The issue now is reaching her. Okay, let's reach her. Let's find out a way to reach her here. All right, let's do this. Hold on. Are you dense? They're gonna blow your brains out. They got guns? Yeah. Of course they got guns. Too. They all have assault rifles, and they're everywhere. You can tell? Even in the dark? I have superpowers. Have you forgotten that I found out what was inside your safe? <sighs> I have superpowers. <laughs> I can see in the dark. And I have x-ray vision. Oh, shit, you were serious? Yes, I was serious. I nodded, then told him about the rest. The iris is in the van at the end of the harbor. There are two portable barricades in the way there. After I laid it out, he s I stared into his eyes. We need a plan. Can you help me? Yeah, sure I can. But I need to ask you a few things first. Fine, Momo, what is it? What did you ha have to ask one? The jack -off who took Tessa. Pewter, right? What's his deal? I think Renju asked him to do all of this. Renju? Yeah, Renju. It's a moment about Renju and Pewter's relationship. Oh, that's right. Renju was looking for Tessa. Not only yeah. that, in a parallel world, I found Iris's body at an Oki or a fishery where... Yeah, I've got I did. a bad feeling about this. Me too, buddy. Me too. So these bad guys, why did they take Tessa? The van's at the end of the row. Once you're a fishery cold store. Sorry about that. Got a call from Renju. You must be planning on taking her inside. Right now, they're probably getting it ready. They've got lookouts waiting outside. This is really bad. What do you have to ask? Three. Tessa's in the van down there, right? Yeah. In that case. Why don't we go around the back? <laughs> I like the way you think, buddy. Unfortunately, that is impossible. They probably have guards there, too. The warehouses are flush with the water. The only path to the van is down the front. No, oh, it's, re it's really easy to... It's really easy to... Uh, defend this location. 
Shit. Guess it won't be that easy. Moma has a hunting rifle. Moma, that's not a toy, is it? No fucking way. This is the real deal, baby. This is the real. I, 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 so here's the deal. You, you may find it strange. In Japan, uh, the gun laws are much different uh, than in uh, the United States per se. Uh, it, it's un, it's un, it's not normal for enemies to have so many like high-profile guns in in Japan. Do you have a Which is why he was surprised. Cop, you know. Which is why he was surprised that they all had guns. Oh, come on! Don't throw the book at me now, Dante! Yeah, I'm not going to. The ATV. That appears to be a military-grade all-terrain vehicle. MoMA, that vehicle? That's, That's yours. one of ours. I got it from the army. It's bulletproof. Even the windows. I thought you were trying to run a non-violent game. It isn't. It's for. It's just in case. Well, that's exactly why. We got rid of our offense, so we needed a little defense. I suppose that makes sense in a way. The best all defense is the best is a great offense. Sorry, buddy. Completely bulletproof. Huh? Can we just drive it into him? Some rise for me. So what's the plan? Uh, well. I was coming with the plan. A car emerged from the darkness. Is it the boss? Looks like a bread truck. What the fuck? Who is it? Wait, why? Why? Dude, I am so tall compared to everybody else. What? Two kids? Azuki, Ota, what are you doing here? What do you mean? You contacted us. I didn't. What? I sent an aisle message oh, to both I of them. Oh, I see. Why? Oh, it, was, it was Aiba. Date, if something happens to Tessa, let me know, okay? You I'll save you no matter what, You need to tell them where we were. This is not a place for two children. Promise me. I promise. Also, you wouldn't break your promise. Thank you, Aiba. A promise is an inviolable protocol. It must be followed. Do you know what a white lie is? No. I am an AI. Not, not a white lie, an AI. You always pull out that excuse when it's convenient. Besides, Mizuki can be very helpful. She is quite strong. I will I will not lie though, Mizuki is like superhuman strength. And Ota? Perhaps he can be used as a shield. Mm-hmm, or like a hacker. And that's cruel, even for me. Yeah, our tech support, our... Uh, our... Date, who are the kids? <laughs> Shit, sorry. Don't call me a kid. Who's the old man? Don't call me an old man. I sighed and shook my head. Made the instructions quickly. So your sixth grade roommate and a neat who's trying to get his light novel published? What good are they? You don't look very useful yourself, old man. Yeah, you're all short and scrawny. Shut up, I'm not short. The earth is just the big. The earth is just big? That argument is fallacious. And it is not fallacious. I mean, kind of, no but... No way. This isn't even my final form. <laughs> Do you turn these Frieza? All my joints are folded up. I can get three times bigger than this. Liar! <laughs> this went on for a bit. I finally got fed up and shouted at them. Shut the fuck Listen up, guys. Listen up, you idiot. You're here because you're all ASET fans. Water. Wet. Sweat. ASET. Fears. Upset. Regret. ASET. Gambling. Roulette. Bed. A said. I don't understand the the the. Hey! Yes, yes. <laughs> I don't understand the rhyming scheme. I mean, I don't understand the the, the significance. All right, let's work together and get our Tessa back. Yeah. yeah. This is our time to unite. Let's show like them what we're like the Power Rangers. Yeah. Bro, I I got the Power shoulder. Rangers on my team. Heart to heart, we stand. Show no mercy, for you shall receive none. Yeah. This is, they got the, some battle cry going. It seems they've already become good friends. Iris has extraordinary power. The messenger of the gods. Good. It's working. Explain the situation to Mizuki and Ota. Here's the plan. Ota, can you drive that vehicle? It's bulletproof, so don't worry. They can't shoot you. Yes, sir! Moma, I need your trigger finger. Get on the back with me and shoot any gunman you can see. You got it! And Mizuki, you're our secret weapon. If it all goes south, we're gonna need your powers. Leave it to me. Yeah, Mizuki has super strength, right? Hey, Dante! What are you gonna have her do? She might not look it, but she's something else. They won't take her down without a fight. You sure about this? Yup. 
You should worry more about yourself, MoMA. So, now you know your jobs. I'm ready to this see, like... Get through. <laughs> I'm ready to see Mizuki, like, destroy these guys. I'm sure I don't need to tell you, but our objective is to reach the end of the harbor. We need to rescue Iris from that van and then get the hell out of here. Any questions? No questions. All right, let's do this. Yeah, let's lock and load. We're coming for you, Tessa. On three. One, two, three, go! go! Okay, they're all excited. So Operation Iris Rescue began. Terrible name. Could have came up with something cooler. But I'll give it to you this time. It's a bulletproof car. With us in the back. We gotta do some shooting. <laughs> they're like, oh shit, they're here. Hey, look! Hey, look, Is they're that here. A tank? Alright, let's do this. Is that a tank? These are random schmucks, dude. There's no knives at laws. Kill him! <laughs> Started the firing range. Okay. Cool. How are they missing so bad? Damn. There's too many of them. I don't think my rifle can handle this many. No, no shit. I have to think of something. This is where I, uh, Iba's, like, super AI comes in candy. Barrel. Come on, Iba, give it to me. Super intelligence. I throw a something. It does a something. Cool. Nice. Good plan. Date. I have a plan. Is it a good plan? Just listen. You still have that pornographic magazine, right? I do. Don't act innocent. Last night, you went back to Golden Yokocho. You found one of those magazines and hid it in your clothes. I know. You know? I'm your left eye, Date. Of course I would know. <laughs> Dude, I saw you do it. Okay, here we go. In any case, throw it at the drum. No. Why not? This is a collector's item. It's SSR. I can't just throw it away. So what is more important to you, Iris or Eros? <laughs> Eros. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Hurry. They're closing in. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> the, the dub is really good, actually. I, re I really like the English dub of this game. Here we go. Here's the shot. Escape plus what? Why escape? Wait, what? what? Get it together, Dante! 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 Okay, re oh. uh, why escape key? I, I also, pr I did press escape. It just didn't register. In any case, throw it at the drum. Okay. Good, hurry up. Here we go. I'm, I'm, I'm spamming it, I'm spamming it. There we go. Take this! What? It's a collector's item, SSR. The legendary? Oh, this is amazing. No one back home will believe me. Damn, that's crazy. Listen, now shoot it. Here we go, here's the shot. Date, now! Shoot the drum! <laughs> Now's no time for crying! <laughs> the drum contains flammable liquids! Do you understand? Fine, I got it. Here's the shot, motherfuckers. Charge it up. And control. Well, what a weird button to press, I won't lie to you. See ya, buddy. Ota! On it! Our second stop. Crane time. Time for the crane. Still more of them. Man, no more oil drums to blow up. <laughs> I'm at my limit here. Wait. Not yet. 
Iba, any ideas? There's still one more thing we can touch. Hmm, let me see. Calculating. Okay, the simulation runs you through the simulation. Date, last night, you picked up something else, didn't you? The remote control. Oh. I told you, don't act innocent. Panties. I'm talking about the panties and bra you shot down in Golden Yokocho. They were still there after a whole day? I needed it as evidence. Enough with your pathetic excuses. Just aim under the container. No. Damn it, Date. No. I was going to give this to Reika as a gift. Someone else's underwear? Wine and underwear are best when aged. That's a famous saying in France. No one says that in France. That is not true. <laughs> Dante, what are you doing? Iris is in trouble. Here we go. Dante! What? It's always on me, huh? Okay, okay. I just gotta throw it, right? Here we go. Throw it. Is it gonna be another like escape? <laughs> it's so intense. There we go. <gasps> Goodbye. What the hell? What the hell? Underwear? You this wouldn't must believe be a it. Gift from heaven. You so wouldn't believe wet. it. As wet as it gets. It's raining. So dirty. Shameless. Absolutely shameless. Who are these? Who are the mercenaries, dude? What? What organization do they come from? Good. That went well. Now, if we can cause that container above them to fall. Okay, here it is. Kills all of them. I could shoot the cable. Can you make the shot? Yeah. Then let's go. Let's make the shot, motherfuckers. Here we go. Big extendo barrel. So you know, I'm making a far shot. And when the time comes, you press escape. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Bam, good shot. Oh. Oh shit, move! Okay, I'll jump into the water. That's good enough, it's, I suppose. Guns are probably jammed by now. Let's go. Roger. One last barricade. This is Iris's job. I mean, uh, what's her face? Mizuki's job, right? The last one. All right, Mizuki. Here, then. What's the plan? All right, Mizuki. It's all you. Fine then. My turn. What's her weapon? Is that wait? Mizuki! What the fuck? Oh, she just running straight. Idiot. She just running straight? You're not gonna serpentine dodge? Okay, cool. Mizuki's actually a bulletproof. Dante, Mizuki can't do this alone. I know. <laughs> I know. Loma, cover me. Hey, wait up! Okay, so what am I gonna do? Escape? Jesus. It wasn't just once, it was a lot of times. Okay, I'm a wait, I'm a beast too. The fuck? Okay. Are they how are they all missing? Seriously? <laughs> what the fuck? Like, what the fuck? What the, what the fuck? Don't test me, motherfucker! Nice. Sick. He's a good shot. <laughs> Oda's like, yeah. Honestly, you'd probably die if you were hit with, uh, with a pipe from on the head like that. Mizuki! Good shot. 
Good shot, MoMA. Damn, this is a long time to be staring at MoMA's face. We killed all of them somehow? That's crazy. Thank you. Okay, now in the car. My goddess, your chariot has arrived. Date! We did it? Dude, wait, a little too easy. Ota, mission complete. All right, got it! What about the rest of the crime scene? Pewter was there. Wait, what? I, I, I don't want to... Something's not right here. This feels really wrong. We sp After the, that, we split up and booked it. The moment I g got behind the wheel of the vehicle, I took the van and got my own into my own car. Mizuki went with Oda and Iris came back with... Oh, Miz Mizuki went with Oda and Iris came back with me. We drove as fast as we could in different directions. The rain poured down endlessly. The neon lights of the city blurred faintly through the drops of the rain. Something doesn't feel right here. Fuck. There, there is some. I don't know what it is. There is just something terribly wrong with this situation. Date, Moma and Mizuki contacted us. They're all safe. Good. I breathe mean, a long sigh of relief. But the winter iris. Looking at the iris again. Oh yeah. I can't see it well in the rain. You must really like that flower. Of course, we share the same name. Iris, the rainbow goddess. Yeah, that's what uncle taught me. The uncle again. Perhaps it is not the flower itself that Iris likes. <laughs> Iris really likes this uncle, huh? Number 89. Oh, I, th I thought it was me. Yeah, I'm a lot better actually. I'm sorry, by the way, for everything. We let it, we let it slip though. Fuck. During our escape, Iris got motion sickness. So I had to pull over at Kumi Shrine so she could rest. Oh, and thank you. I never thanked you for saving me. You should be thanking those three. Some bodyguard I am. I put you in danger. That's not true. If it wasn't for you, I would have... Anyway, there's nothing else to say but thank you. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Listen to her story. Nothing in particular. Oh, I didn't sorry. talk to him at all in the car. What about the group of gangsters? They were all speaking different languages, so I didn't understand anything. But they were all speaking Japanese in the last part. Wait, hold on. Talk to the shrine? It's rather solemn. Offering box. Th th that's, you know, the game is serious, is when you're you're trying to talk to the room and the, th the room won't talk back. That's, you know, they're really serious. Tori Gate. Wash your hands. The Yeah. Tree. Yeah, absolutely fucking nothing, dude. Here we go. Listen to her story. Do you think the fruit of immortality really exists? The legend about the shrine? Yeah. I told you yesterday, I don't believe in that stuff. I see. But you do believe in parallel worlds and secret societies. Shut the fuck up, Iba. Because I experienced that in Iris' Samuel. This could be a negative side effect of the sink. It is possible that you've been emotionally compromised by Iris's morbid inner consciousness. Emotionally? Well, there is mm -hmm. no point in discussing this now. Something, there's, something's not right here. The, damn. I used to love Uncle. Not like romantically. I was 12 at the time, and Uncle was already in a relationship. With your mom. You mean with your mom? <laughs> oh, you knew about that? I've heard a lot. Like the Okonomiyaki incident? Yeah, the picture I drew. Right. We were always like that. We always so, acted silly and... So that's the issue though, right? I thought it was me, but she doesn't... Like, I don't remember these incidents. I remember that in sixth grade, Uncle and I used to play hand games. I don't remember any of these things, but maybe it comes with a memory wipe from six years ago. Shinto Shrine. It's rather solemn. Like what? Like ratty cakes. Ratty cake, ratty cake, baker's man. Hmm? It's like patty cakes mixed with rock paper scissors. How do you fucking play this game? What? Ratty cake, ratty cake, baker's man. Bake 
me a cake as fast as you can. Pat it, poke it, fill it with fruit. Put it in the oven. Rock, paper, scissors, rock, paper, scissors, shoot. I win, I win, yay! <laughs> no. I don't know. I only called him uncle. What's his real name? Mama called him Falco. Falco! From Smash Brothers. Falco. <laughs> Isn't Number it a funny 89. name? Sort of weird for a Japanese man. Oh, maybe he wasn't Japanese. I never found out where he was from. He's from South Africa, <laughs> right? Before he met me, he committed some terrible crime. Interesting. It appears that Hitomi and the assassin number 89 were dating. This is a terrible timeline. What? So why do I have the now memory? Now you have to take the penalty! Up, up, side to side, up, down, pinch! Damn. <laughs> And it, this is not a coincidence that they showed me and this. Number 89 is with Renju now. They, they would not. This is not a coincidence, right? This is not a coincidence. What the hell is going on here? I didn't keep my promise. Promise? Did you forget? The promise with 89. I told you that I would tell you who my late night visitor was if you went on a date with me. Was it 89? No, it can't be. He was in jail. Oh, right. And we went on a date, so... Here it is. Here, here, the moment of truth. Once we know this, everything will go smoothly and all of the pieces of the puzzle will fall yes, into place. I'll tell you now. This is the linchpin. Sunday at 2 a.m., I was visited by... Renju Okira. I... I knew it was Renju. I knew it was fucking what? Renju. He seemed really sick, probably because of his injury. At the time, I had no idea what had happened. He was sweating buckets, and he came up to me with this begging look in his eyes. He said, come with me. He seemed really desperate. I couldn't say no, so I got into his rental car. And then what? What we did you do? somewhere. I don't know where. Some deserted building. Mr. Okira got out of the car, then grabbed my hand. He tried to pull me inside. I got scared. I pulled my hand away and ran. Okay, what did you run after? Okay, what did you do? Well, I didn't go home. I oh, thought you knew. back. I just walked around and went into a bunch of stores. That's a good that's a good plan. Restaurants, coffee shops, net cafes. I was afraid that he would try to call me, so I turned off my phone too. Good and call. Then at night, around seven, I think. I turned on my phone and got a Nile message from Mizuki. I want to stay at your place. I met up with her and took her home. I thought having her around would comfort me. I don't know. Well, she lived, right? Why did you tell me this? Mr. Okira has done so much for me. He took care of me as a kid. He helped me at Lemniscate. I wanted to trust him. No matter what happens, I can't think of him as a bad person. I mean, he never did anything bad to me. <laughs> well, he came to my house well, in the morning and tried to take me to an abandoned building. You never know. Maybe he wanted to show me some flowers. This is a little too strong of a benefit of a doubt, no? Or it was like a prank he was filming for the internet, or that's something. What I thought at the time. Gone wrong, gone sexual, gone that's crazy. What I kept telling myself. But after hearing everything you've told me, it's like a Darman video. I can't see Mr. Okira the same way. Maybe he's a part of Nice. Maybe he's trying to... Kill you. What happened to Renju? I don't know. I haven't seen him or spoken to him since. Where did he take you exactly? Iris, I need you to tell me one thing. Where did Renju take you? Where did he take you exactly? To the fishery, right? It's been closed for eight years. The chemical plant in the Kabasaki district. That's different. The chemical plant. 
That's where we have to go next. It's the chemical plant in the Kawasaki district. Next time. <laughs> next time, we're gonna go right over there to get to figure this stuff out. Leave it on a cliffhanger, why don't we? Good to see you guys. Welcome to the, the usual Lazy Shen bullshit. Yeah? We saved at a really great place in the story. Next time, we're gonna bust down the factory and find out what's going on here once and for all, maybe. But yeah, that's gonna be the end of the episode for today. <laughs> Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, you know, don't forget to hit the hit the subscribe button and uh, maybe press the notification bell so you don't miss the next video, which will come out very, very soon, obviously. And then, uh, yeah, if you like this video in specific, a like and a comment goes a long way. A little bit of feedback, maybe. Let me know how what you liked, what you disliked, etc., etc. And that being said, I will see you guys hopefully next time. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate you. Uh, until next time, though, drink some water. Uh, eat some butter. Touch some grass. Don't get shot at a o oak here or fishery. And I'll see you guys next time. Okay? Peace. Peace, peace, peace. Late. <laughs>